Hey guys, I'm LB, and welcome back to the second episode of Hue, episode 1. The first episode was episode 0, don't forget to check it out in case you missed it. But now we shall continue with this letter. Dr. Gray soon became my assigned mentor, and I can't help but feel he somehow had a hand in it. Our fires burnt brightest when we worked together. It felt like we could achieve anything. We discovered more about color than I could ever have imagined. We split light, matte spectrums, we painted, we laughed. We worked long hours and soon our gold became all-consuming. We were vessels. The work became more important than us, and we knew it. Interesting. Are we gonna get to meet our mother? I think it's our mother, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. What's back here, huh? Oh can't go here yet, because we don't have that specific shade of blue just yet. Gotcha. Interesting, so we'll have to keep that in mind for later. Oh my goodness, we are zoomed in very close. I can't even see where we are. There's no hope of me jumping up there, I don't think. But we can get up here at the very least. And there's an orange thing I've already turned invisible, it would seem. Man, these chains. Look at that. Chains. Who would've thunk it? There's- there's definitely stuff up- stuff up above us. Yeah, look at that. Anyway, let's go through here. Oh, hello! Uh, hmm. That's a bit of a problem now, isn't it? What happens if these are both visible at once? Interesting. So it was staying on top until it wasn't anymore? Huh, well I guess it works. Uh, hmm... What exactly do I want to do here? I can't, like, jump on top of this. Where exactly am I supposed to go in that case? Oh gosh, that is- that is definitely not what I call a safe place to stand. Let's see, can I make this jump? No. Cannot. And then where... Where would I go instead? Right, right, what am I doing? <laughs> Get up on top of that. I can't go over here at all. Yeah, there's nothing over here for me. Uh, can I push this box somewhere? No. The answer to that question is a resounding no. So here's the question Wasn't I changing colors earlier and the box didn't fall until I got near it? do with this box, so why do I need to get up here? I'm confused about that. Can I do anything in here? Do I want the box over here or something? I still don't think that would allow me to jump high enough, even I did have the box. Yeah. If I had the box right here, it wouldn't allow me to jump high enough. I definitely want to get up there, it would seem. I don't see a way to get this box anywhere near here. What do I need to do with this box, then? I'm... unclear on the concept. Oh, oops, <laughs> I pushed it too far. We can still push it in and out like that. I don't understand what I'm doing, though. Is 
What is the purpose of that? There's nothing around over here that I can see. Am I missing something? Is there some obvious thing that I'm not sure how to do? What happens if I restart the level? That's interesting, we get a- we get a zoom in this time instead of starting all close. box is up there right now, right? Yes. The box is up there. Do I want it to be up there? Does it even matter? Problem is, if I go through here, the box falls. Yeah, that's... that's a bit of an issue. Am I missing something obvious? Is there something... I'm... just... Clueless about that I can't see for some reason. Cause I can't jump. Oh, I can push that? That doesn't look like a box. How was I supposed to know I could push that? Are you serious? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh wow, that's uh okay then. That's that's definitely not what I expected at all. How am I supposed to get up there now? Yeah, that's the best I can do, I suppose. Jump up here. Okay, now I can make progress. I didn't know I could push that. That- that would have needed some explanation, personally. It's like, sometimes they tilt and sometimes they don't. Strange. Let's just push this, I guess. Where did that land? Down here? Where do I- where exactly- Ah, I see. There's that, and now we can get up here. Right. Uh, we want that to be gone. There we go. There's nothing over here, right? Yep, just some candles that I'm burning my feet on. There we go. I wonder if the color blending's gonna come into play later. Aha. Uh -huh. There we go. Here's a door. But the fact that they blend colors when they overlap, I wonder if that's gonna come into play later. Hey! Now we're starting to get into puzzle territory, finally. We have an actual key and lock puzzle. Or at least tutorial, anyway. Right. What all do I have to work with? Door's blue. Can't see it if we're in blue- blue land, right? I can push... and pull this. Interesting. Oh, that kills me! <laughs> I guess that would kill me, wouldn't it? Alright, let's do this first, then. Pull that out of the way. And do this. There we go. And then we can push this. Yada yada. Got it. There we go. And then, let's do this. Pull this over here instead. Excuse me, there we go. Push that over there. There we go, I got it. Can we still use the door? Wow, I just... <laughs> so the... the lock... wasn't colored, but the door is, so I have to change colors to use the door. Oh, why, hello here! What do we have going on here? All three colors. So I just need to rearrange them so I can jump across is all I need to do. I just need to change the order. Gotcha. Well, let's, uh... start with this. There we go. We do... this. Doesn't really matter too much. Actually, I need to push this one over to here. Yeah, I just need to cycle them. Yeah. There we go. Make that invisible. 
that invisible. There we go. Right, so. That should be enough. Then... I want to make blue invisible next. There we go. And then I want to make purple invisible. There we go. Problem solved. I'll write the door. <laughs> I needed the door to be visible. So... Good, they stopped. But why, though? Were they supposed to stop, or did I break it? I kinda thought they were gonna chase after me. What the... Strange. <laughs> the physics there don't seem to be working as intended. Alright, and then purple next. Yeah, it does seem like I'm supposed to run and just do this quickly. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. Not too much a fan of that, to be honest. Wait, you're making me do this again? Why, though? I've already done this once, why are you making me do it again? Right. Like, this is exactly the same thing, I don't understand why I need to do it again. Yeah, I'm- I'm a bit confused about why I had to do that same thing twice. Right, so this is what we're working with. Should be able to just jump up and get the key already, right? Oh, I see. So we can only change the color so many times before we get crushed, because there's boulders at the top of the screen here. Got that now. Hmm, so I just have to run for it now? Nope. <laughs> that didn't work. Okay then. Can I get up here at all? What is this for? Cause I can't jump up there. What is this for? Am I supposed to hide there? I think I'm supposed to hide there. That makes sense, right? this, and then I get prepared to hide, right? Okay, so yeah, I'm just supposed to hide in that case. And then I just jump across. Simple as that. There we go. So that was a good puzzle. I did like that one. Not sure what the running segments are for, though. Huh, why? So much physics stuff for no reason. <laughs> Alright, that's enough of that. Physics chains! Physics! 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 Every game must have physics! Wait. Skeletons hanging over here. Hey, watch it, buddy. <laughs> You're not getting under my skin. <laughs> Aw, adorable. Wait, 
what was the point of this room? Was this... There's gotta be more to it than this, right? What was the point of this room? Just introducing the fact that skeletons exist? Oh, you're gonna make me do this, aren't ya? Eh, of course. Yeah, not much a fan of that. Like, why- why is this necessary? This is- this is basically just annoying. This is- this is the kind of stuff when I was looking at the trailer of the game and I thought, I don't want to do that. Why, why is that so- Why? What is the point of that? Do you want to be a platformer or a puzzle game? Pick one or the other, don't do both. I think that's the problem with a lot of these games is that they try to do both puzzle and platformer at the same time without realizing that it's much better to just focus on one aspect instead of trying to do both. Because this is mostly just annoying timing, and reacting to the color, like, oh, I gotta change a different color now, and oh, I gotta make this jump properly, with physics that I'm not fully used to. Let's see, there's that. This. Gotcha. Yada yada yada. Like, this is not challenging, this is just annoying. Oh crap, oh crap. See, it's annoying, it's not challenging. Right, let's try this again. Oh, come on! Didn't even see that in time, because the camera should really pan upwards a bit so that I can see what's coming up next. Like, this isn't even a puzzle. It's just... I've, I've already explained why it's- Oh my gosh, I did- How- I totally pressed space there! Was it because I was selecting colors? That's another annoying thing, is that it ignores your input when you're selecting colors, when I've got the color select wheel open, it completely ignores my input entirely. I appreciate the slow motion, but I would still want to be able to jump while the color wheel's open. Like, right now, I press a jump, and nothing is happening. But, I can still move, for some reason? Like, it still remembers the last direction you press, and it'll keep doing that indefinitely, even though I'm not pressing keys anymore. And I can't change direction, I can't jump. That's a really weird decision, why would they do it that way? It's like, intentionally designed to be awkward. Come on! Yep, not too much a fan of this section. Never want to do that again. Ever. Oh hey, you're gonna stare at me and walk away again, aren't you? Yes, I'm pretty sure you are. Why does it take so long though? I mean the game is really emphasizing that for some reason, but it's emphasized it like three times now, and each time we've gotten a color. I get the picture, I understand. You don't have to do that every single time. Pink. I'm guessing that's pink or magenta, whatever color you whatever color you want to call it. And... pink! Magenta! Pink. Let's go with pink. Yep, that's definitely pink. Achievement unlocked, back to the fuchsia. Oh, I guess it's fuchsia? <laughs> back to the back to the fuchsia, come on! <laughs> Alright, oh, we got another letter to read here. It's funny. I don't remember much after that day on the grass. I do know that Dr. Gray and I spent many a time together. I would compliment him on his work and his cheeks would flush with a pinkness. <laughs> He'd notice and change the subject embarrassed. This work we were doing together, it, it didn't feel much like work anymore. 
This wasn't even really that well hidden. Oh no! Why though? You're gonna make me come all the way back here just to get this... thing. That's annoying. Like, it's one thing to have hidden collectibles, and it's another thing to make the player backtrack for ages just to get to them again. Like, I, now I have to come back there when I have yellow. That's a seriously annoying decision on the developer's part. Like, it's really obvious, and it's right there. That's- it's intentionally hostile to the player, like... Yes, I see it's there, they made it really obvious that I can get it, and they're also telling me at the same time that I can't get it now, and I just have to come back for it later. That is so annoying, in my opinion. I really do not enjoy it when games do that. Right. So this lets us see everything aside from the doorway, of course. There's a key down there, apparently. Where do I want to take this to? Let's just, uh, get on the other side of it. Bam! Alright, so there's where the key is. What was the point of this block? I can get up here now, is that something I wanted though? The, the cube over there... can I actually get that right now? Oh, come on! Why though? Why would you do that? Just make it so I can't make the jump! Don't need- you don't need to kill me and restart the entire puzzle! Oh my gosh! Like I said, it's hostile to the player to do that. Oh, oh crap, I didn't actually want to do that. There we go. Alright, let's take this down, and then... Okay, crap. Fine. We'll do it, th we'll do it that way, I guess. So... This? I see why we need the other crate, because we can't have- we can't push this through here, because these are on the same color. Right, gotcha. Make this invisible, please. Thank you. Alright, so this is much simpler, I was overcomplicating things. Get me up here. Uh, excuse me. I said, get me up here. Uh, excuse me! Let me grab this, please. Thank you. Oh, come on, really? You're gonna make me go around it and then push it from the other side? Fine. Alright. Make purple vanish. And... Okay then, let's see here. I guess I have to move this guy back now. And jump around like this. And make... Orange vanish. And then I can make blue vanish. Gotcha. So we're finally getting some puzzles here. But, uh, first the game is making us prove that we can do some annoying, challenging platform segments. That aren't even challenging, they're just frustrating. Can I j make this jump? Oops, excuse me, that's not how I make a jump. Yes, I can make that jump, excellent. So now we've got the key, we just go back over this direction. We should be good to go. There we go. Right. Don't you love it when the, the physics restabilize or whatever? Hmm. Oh my gosh. I think it's pretty clear we want this to start off with, right? Are you intentionally trying- Like, what is the point of this? This, is th this isn't even a puzzle, this is just a maze where you just change the color every now and then. I don't- I don't see the point of this being in this game. This is not challenging, it's not engaging. Alright, so, it looks like... Looks like to get the key, we want to do this, right? another blank spot. There's another blank spot over there, so we have to... Yeah... Cause we can't change colors while we're overlapping stuff, so that's the issue. So 
gotta go in this direction first, to find a blank spot. There's a blank spot. Which blank spot do we want, though? Let's make this visible. And do we want to go up here, or... Where's the other blank spot? Okay. this. Is there any blank spots up here? No. Okay. What about over around here? Aha! Except that's not too terribly useful, honestly. What would this blank spot be for? I guess this is how we get out, right? Yeah, that's how we get out. Okay. Let's go back in that case. Let's try this blank spot. What can we do from here? Honestly, not much. That's not helpful. That's where we came from. That's not helpful either. Cause that doesn't even lead us to any blank spots. So can I just go down here and... See, the issue is it's surrounded... I need... To get there by blue, it would seem. How about we've been to this blank spot already? I think we have, right? Yeah, that's the one we started with. Oh, there's a blank spot here, I didn't even consider that. Yeah, there we go. That's how we get the key. Right. Do that again. Yada. Do this. Wait, no. Uh, do this. There we go. That's how we get out of here. And go down here. Excellent. Right. right now? Is this what we're- is this what we've come to? Yep, I think this is exactly what we've come to now. Okay, so my jump height is not based on how long I hold the spacebar. I suppose that's good to know, right? this all the way... What's that other one for? That makes me nervous. Go through here. Go through here. Now let's take this one. I see. Right, so... You want this guy pulled back here. Yep. Gotcha. Yep. There we go. Now we get out. That was... It's more straightforward than some of the previous things, things we've done. Hmm... Cause like, I'm not holding any keys right now, and he's just running. He's just running to the right for no reason. And now he's pushing things for no reason. I'm not holding any keys right now, at all. I'm just holding down the left mouse button. Wait, why are those overlapping? 
Oh, because I guess blue was the current color, right? Yada yada. Make that invisible, then we can pull this guy. Come on. Thank you. Make that invisible. What is with this block over here? Oh, there's another key there. Oh, that's... okay. It's important to know about, I suppose. I thought there was a key up here. Wait, we're just, there's just a block up there, huh? Alright, so now we can get up here, finally. again, right? Right, I gotta go behind it. There we go. Uh, hmm. That is a slight problem, I think. There we go. Slight problem resolved. Slightly. Uh, slight problem created again. because we couldn't push the blue one down in the pit. Gotcha. Let me grab this, please! Oh my gosh, why can I not grab this? It's so annoying, the grab does not have the range that you want it to have. Alright, there's that. Let's, uh, yeah, we'll keep it on that for now. Excuse me. Let me grab it, please! I don't know why it's so hard to grab stuff. Hmm. It's actually a slight problem. No matter. There we go. Yeah, so we keep that like that. That. Pull this. I said pull this. Thank you. Jump over. Te technically, don't need this part because I can just do the rest on my own. There we go. Now we can get up here. Yeah. Grab the key. Do this. Do this. Do this. And we're good. Gotcha. So that was an okay puzzle. Right, I have to press up arrow key. Where are we now? Hmm. I think... I think we are now at the end of the episode. So, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!